Yo, what it do, brothers? It's your Hebrew brother, Milo Judah, and I'm back with another episode of All That Rah Rah. And brothers, this episode will be pertaining to uh, a quote-unquote trans woman. This is really just a man who had his phallus cut off. But anyway, uh, this video pertains to a quote-unquote trans woman who says that, you know, trans women, they have quote-unquote designer coochies. That's uh, his slash her words, right? As compared to women with natural-born vaginas, uh, their vaginas uh, (laughs) um, is comparable to a free bag of chips. (laughs) But you know, brothers, you know, a lot of women, they are starting to have a disdain toward trans women and starting to say that trans women think that they are better than natural born women. But the wild thing is when this thing was starting to come into play, um, especially around, you know, around like late 2018, early 2019, when you would try to tell a woman that transgenders you know those people they are not in their right mind at that time women were so inclusive and they still are to an extent but at that time they were extremely inclusive saying that you know you should allow transgenders to you know be who they feel as be who they feel they are if if they feel as if they are a woman then who are you to tell them that they are not women Right. You even have some women that would tell you that, you know, you must be transphobic or or you're secretly uh, a trans admirer or something like that. You know, women, they would say anything to you. And it's crazy because women, they have all these movements going on about women empowerment and things of that nature. But they allow anybody to be a woman. They don't even understand the exclusivity of being a woman and how powerful it is and how beautiful it is when women are in their right mind and and understanding the natural essence of being a woman. But most of these women, they want to compete with men and they want to be on top of men and also allow men who want to emasculate themselves to the point where they feel like they are women to be women. Which is why, you know, the woman is comparable to a child, man. Because it's just in her mentality, the way she thinks. For the most part, it's backwards. Right? Now, that doesn't mean all women think backwards. Neither neither does that mean all children think backwards. And I'm not necessarily saying that children even think backwards. But what I'm saying is children, they would try anything until they see that, you know, it's to the detriment of them. But it's just like they have to see it first, right? It's like you're telling your child not to touch something hot and they touch it anyway to see that it's hot. It's the same thing. Brothers was trying to tell women that, you know, you allowing a man to call himself a woman and you being in agreement with it, that's going to open up a can of worms. Right, but now... Since this phenomenon has happened with, you know, trans people starting to just overstep their boundaries and become very disrespectful in the things that they do and the things that they say. Now women are starting to feel as if, you know, trans women are overstepping their boundaries. But, you know, brothers, you always see brothers going back and forth with women on social media And brothers tend to get frustrated when they see that they cannot get through to the woman on social media. Brothers, you have to stop trying to go back and forth with random women. And just allow them to see how things are going to play out when you can clearly see that they are making a bad decision or agreeing with nonsense. Right. But anyway, brothers, we're going to go ahead and get to this video. Um, With all that being said, man. Let's do some real and rare analysis.
People are really out here saying that Trans Chuchi is the inferior product. I'm sorry, we have the designer expensive bougie coochie. So we are not even 10 seconds into this clip and we can see that this character has already went off the deep end with saying some extremely off the wall things and being extremely disrespectful toward the demographic that this character chooses or wants to be like, which is women. Like, you're telling me if someone says, would you like this free paper bag that came with my groceries? Or would you like this $35,000 bag? You're taking the designer Birkin, babe. Like, seriously. Now what this character just said, it was pretty ridiculous, but it was also very telling because a man's nature at his core, men are naturally competitive. So for women to think that you know, the males who wanted to be women, for them to think that those males weren't going to be competitive and start to see themselves as better women than naturally created women, those women were fooling themselves, thinking that those males just wanted to be included. You're just mad because trans girls don't want to put trash like you in our designer bags. Now for you brothers who have watched documentaries, or read any articles or books or just watch any videos pertaining to transsexuals specifically men converting to women um, for the most part the sex life sucks because the genitalia was created therefore it doesn't naturally lubricate so they tend to tell you that sex is very painful now you have this person here trying to convince you that his vagina is better because it was paid for and it was expensive. But like Kanye West said in that song, Good Life, shit, they say the best things in life are free. <laughs> so basically, what I'm saying is, no matter how much money they pay, no matter how much surgery they go through, it would never be a woman. They were never compared to being a woman because men and women are created differently. Therefore, they have to result to these tactics. You know, saying that they have designer coochies, <laughs> you know, and comparing um, a natural vagina to a wet paper bag, and coming up with terms like cis woman. <laughs> You know, these are the things that they have to resort to in order to make themselves feel better because they are not happy with what the Most High gave them at birth, with the genitalia that he assigned them. Or, you know, some individuals, they were sexually abused when they were children and this is the result of that. But even still, you know, once we become adults, we have to self-correct. We have to be able to identify what's wrong with us and seek the proper channels to receive the proper help. But even still, what people fail to realize is that when this movement was getting started, <laughs> the main component or the main supporter of it had to be women because men don't agree with stuff like this. Not heterosexual men with the backbone. Hell no, we'll look at you and tell you that you're crazy. <laughs> but brothers, you know, even still, man, like I said in the beginning of this video, when you can clearly see that, you know, no matter what you say to a woman, her mind isn't going to change, you have to back off. And honestly, you brothers shouldn't be trying to go back and forth with random women anyway, because like the scriptures say, it's just gonna give you a blot, right? You just, you're gonna get a headache trying to correct this random woman who has no respect for you, nor what you are saying to her. But this movement that's going on in the world with the rising of trans, specifically America, with the rising of transgenders um, and homosexuality and lesbianism. Um, and of course, you know, for brothers who are paying attention, you see a rise in pederasty as well. All of this is just going back to the veneration of the Bacchus um, also, you know, veneration of the Baphomet as well. 
So uh, I hope you brothers enjoyed this video, man. Got you a little understanding. With all that being said, that's all that rah-rah. Yo.